Welcome to Behind the Gates, where we get you access inside some of the most exclusive and sought after million dollar properties in the world. Oh yes, we're going behind the gates of four VIP properties. From a beach loving dream home to a house that draws inspiration from Hearst Castle. You'll never believe what these homes have to offer. It's an all access pass to the most expensive and luxurious homes in the world. And your exclusive tour starts now. I'm Elena Buenrostro and welcome to Behind the Gates. Coming up on Behind the Gates, one more larger than life oasis. If you're looking for a multi-million dollar dream estate, we've got just the place. The money that they spent on this house is just insurmountable. Welcome back to Behind the Gates. Our final sprawling residence will certainly leave you spellbound. Welcome to this historic La Jolla home that some say draws inspiration from Hearst Castle. This is a magnificent estate that was originally built in 1929 by Thomas Shepard, who is an illustrious architect from the 30s to 40s, and um, he's very well respected in San Diego. There have been four owners in this home. The second owner was Billy Pearson, who was a Del Mar jockey, horse jockey. He was very involved with the Hollywood crowd. And after one more owner in between and a purchase from Scripps, the current owner decided to give this house a major overhaul, paying close attention to the historic charm, of course. In 2009, my clients completed the job in remodeling this. They've gone from 4,400 to 10,000 square feet. The house is built on an 18,000 square foot lot. It has been on the historic registry now and is a candidate for the Mills Act, which means our property taxes are much lower here. The actual architecture of this home follows the actual lines of the original home that was built in 1929. The actual decor of the home is more along the tastes of the owners, which are very avid collectors of antiques. Many different auction houses for, he loves famous people's, of course, you know, we have Greta Garbo's things, we have some things from Rudolph Valentino that are built into the house and even a few architectural elements from Jane Mansfield's Pink Palace showed up. Besides extensively expanding the mansion to two stories, the owner also brought in designers and artisans to make sure he kept many of the same materials from the home's original 1920s and 30s design while still incorporating his own European likes and details. Everything that was done in 1929, we kind of replicated. So every, all of our workers here were actually artisans and uh, like lath and plaster walls instead of just your standard sheetrock. So all the iron was duplicated by artisans. We consider it a French eclectic home. It has all the different elements of Spanish, but basically European now. And another major influence for this grandiose estate. During the remodel, the um, actual owners of the home fell in love with La Fenice, which is a very famous opera house in Europe. And like all the Murano fixtures were actually patterned, the one in the dining room especially was patterned after La Fenice. And we have plaster reliefs throughout the house, La Fenice, the Phoenix, the rise of the Phoenix. This was um, like a rebirthing of this home to bring it back to its original grandeur, along with its expansions. Other areas where this magnificent manor rose from the ashes and presented itself again to a new generation would be. The entry of the home is all very original. There's a 31 by 20 square foot living room with a bowed window that has high lit ceilings, cove ceilings, wonderful niches for display parquet flooring, which was original. The dining room, which is also a large room, is all saltillo tile, has a beautiful fireplace in it, also has built-in china cabinets. My client went all over the world to find marble, French tiles, all Murano chandeliers. They've spared no expense. 
two other areas of this home that keep the virtue of the original 1929 villa would be the two master suites. We have a master suite downstairs, which is the original master suite, which has been renovated and up to today's standards. And then when we did our addition, we did an upstairs master suite. The bathroom is all honey onyx. There's also a staircase, a private staircase, that goes from the master down to the pool and to the spa. Speaking of spa, there is just no comparison. This is a pool area for the ages. The pool is the same shape that it was when uh, we had it listed years ago and when he purchased it, but they now have it as a glass mosaic tile pool. The decking all around is imported marble. They have these wonderful handles that are brass that go into the pool. They created this wonderful pool house, also with glass mosaic that sparkles and is iridescent at nighttime. Also housed in the pool area, a formal rose garden and nearby Hollywood junipers that are original to the property and must remain so as a part of the historical designation of this home. The money that they spent on this house is just insurmountable. On the other hand, a number that is surmountable, the price. If you're looking to move into this phenomenal historic palace, expect to pay a figure that closely matches the grandeur of this home. We have it currently on the market and it's in what is called a value range. It is on the market between 9.8 million and 12.9 million. So my client will entertain an offer in that range. Thanks for watching this episode of Behind the Gates. I'm your host, Elena Buenrostro, and join me next time as I show you some of the most spectacular homes around the world.